Map number three, baby. Here we go. It's going to be Wholesome versus Nightmare Rotation. Of course, Wholesome are already popping off. Gaskin might be doing some spectating here, just uh, checking out the angles that are coming through from Wholesome. In fact, they're not going to go for their classic TP to the back line. Instead, it's all about trying to just claim this forward spawn. I think there may have been a sneaky TP here from Kaluj. Indeed, it is, but Sinatra's not involved. Sinatra, there's no way. The pocket is so strong from space there. Hazard gets taken down, and remember... Still no resurrection available for the side of Nightmare Rotation. They don't like to play that rocket, so Hazard's going to be gone for a while. And Super Gomez might be the same. Has to carve his way out of a cave. Yeah, now Sinatra gets the infinite ammo. They're already down a DPS, their best DPS as well. In Hazard, they were able to do so much to hide on in that last map and win the 1v1. But now, Holton are just on the point, and it's been a strong two maps for them so far. And it's looking like a strong third for the start as well. We should be getting through the streets of Shibuya any second now, as they're just going to have to rotate through Deathbot after Deathbot on Nightmare Rotation. And it looks like the blunts have been smoked for now. They have to peter out, and they're going to have to retreat. Oh, not the ideal disengagement there from Glaskin. Might be punished for that. No, it seems like Gaskin is going to be able to get out. Just constantly walled by Iremix, forcing Luna Snow to have to pull everyone back and give away more space that can be really utilized by these DPS on off angles. Yeah, the dance floor is available, though, for Karova. So ready to hit some fit choreography moves. Get into the dance practice mirrored version. As we said, K-pop idols, they do love their, uh, they do love their dances, that's for sure. <laughs> Not the smoke kill from Sinatra onto Hazard. Super no, Gomez no. already down, Karoba <laughs> pops the ultimate. Guess what? Everyone's already dead. There's a copied ultimate. I think that it may well be Hydration who's copying that. I think that both of these are somewhat wasted Luna Snow also. Karoba actually overextends and gets killed by a full power E from Kaluj. Killed in the rare instance during their ultimate. Yeah. Not really one that you want to see if you're the size of Nightmare Rotation, because you really funnel that ultimate from Karova so, so fast because of the charge time. And it's effectively just, you know, emoting on the corpse of your friends. You know, Karova is there, invulnerable, healing up, and everyone else is dead around them. A really good punish from the side of Wholesome, though, to copy that ultimate and basically use it against them. We've got to think about what, like, this much healing from Balloon and Snow brings to the table as well. While it does keep everyone alive, it also just does mean huge amounts of farm for uh, Hydron and Sinatra when it yeah. comes towards those DPS ultimates. We are seeing so many, and Sinatra's ready to bring one out. Judge, jury, executioner. Super Gomez can also touch more peel, thanks for the shift of the Loki, but guess what? Hydration brings theirs out second, and using the second shift is usually so much better. Oh, the spray transfers are sick, and they're clean. Oh, and this is a five-minute time bank here for the side of Wholesome. This is an absolute smacking. And we just witnessed yet again the combo of the Rocket Raccoon and the Punisher because Sinatra gets a 6k with those, um, with that ultimate, with those dual miniguns. Just eviscerated when Nightmare Rotation didn't have the healing, couldn't go anywhere, couldn't speed away. They were slams to the slaughter. Oh, Hydron playing in the back. Undiscovered thus far, might have access to that. Oh, I was going to say access to Perez Beacon, but of course there isn't one at the moment, and that could be a major problem. Hell Unleashed by Hazard up on the top. We'll be able to at least do a good amount of damage, but look at this. Hydron has the perfect angle behind. Karova in sights. Oh, Karova pops the O, and Hydron instantly kills them. The worst case scenario for the Lunar Snow has been realized as Cortal is now solo healing, and guess what? Can't copy the Lunar Snow. They're dead. Can't get access to the dance floor instead might have to copy their own Doctor Strange as Glaskin gets overwhelmed again and again caught on the staircase a shift just to disengage it's falling apart so quickly for the nightmare rotation it's a disaster that's the worst thing that is the last thing we wanted to happen you did you you really do hate to see it for Karova basically one tap by the ultimate Hydron landing the perfect amount of splash damage to just eviscerate that Luna Snow, then her back in form. Oh, yeah, Hogs. Walled in, stunned, and now we'll turn them against it. Oh my god, Corsa actually gets killed during the copy. Very rare. Don't think anyone's even stunned by the Eye of Agamotto from Gasklin. And uh, wow, this nope. has been an absolute smacking. Only three deaths suffered on a Shibuya attack here. That's crazy. That is the, the least amount of deaths in Shibuya. Since the train carts incident. <laughs> oh, Sinatra's 15 and 0. Jesus. I mean, Punisher Rocket, guys, is good. Who would have thought, right? It's real good. It's so, so. Yeah, like, like, what, do you, what do you do if you're Nightmare Rotation as opposed to just not play Loki? Yeah, I, I keep hating to just 
bang on about the rocket, but honestly, like, you lose your Punisher duel every time just because, guess what? Reloading is really uh, disruptive to being the top DPS, and yeah. you have to deal with having a lower fire rate. Super Gomez simply cannot take the duel against Sinatra because Sinatra's putting out so much pressure that Karo is forced to consistently heal these tanks as well. You lose the Punisher duel, and then you lose the Sustain War, because uh, Raccoon is just a more over character than Loki. Not only do you lose the Punisher duel because you have a Rocket Raccoon, right? You then also, by proxy, lose the War of Groot, because Sinatra is just able to literally one-tap your tree, whereas uh, Iron Mix is just allowed to live for far too long, and that was really... What wholesome? I feel like they fell down when they played mutants, right? It's like remakes were just getting completely tattered, completely shredded yeah. by the the Punisher of um, of mutants, particularly with Ant comboing off as well on the Hella. But you lose the tank war, you lose the one v one war, you lose the backline war. You have less utility. You don't have res. You know, like give me another reason. I don't know. Uh, you don't need one. Kalush tries to interrupt the portal, hoping to send people off the edge. Are they just using it to scout? Does that go on cooldown if you just use it to scout? Yeah, or... it does. The second you press F, it goes on 180 second cooldown. We're trying to interrupt Glaskin, but uh, at least everyone manages to get up onto the high ground. Super Gomez gets a smoke kill on Hydron. Of course, that is going to be resable, and so back they are. Sinatra difficult to deal with here with that unlimited ammo and the increased fire rate for shotgun. It does a lot when combined with the rocket raccoon. And once again, high ground control going the way of Wholesome. And they can just stay on this angle, right? And the power of our finals has well and truly been mastered by so many players on this awesome oh. team coming from their previous games and actually just giving us a master class in being able to off angle peek go around and behind the tanks in particular look how late the tanks die in that fight if they even die at all because they're able to get the higher value targets are wholesome of those dps of those um uh, supports as well i forgot the actual term for them they're called strategists strategists yeah the strategy to die first, the fight is almost instantly over, especially if it's the Lunar Snow for the side of Nightmare Rotation. Oh, Super Gomez down. I think a couple of those Lunar Snow heals are actually blocked by uh, the infrastructure that's here. Yep, yep, Gaskin needs both the E from the Lunar Snow and the Shift from the Loki. That's a huge amount of resources that are down. I don't think you can even take this fight now. You do have the Lunar Snow Ultimate if you want to use it, but I think it might be too little too late. Yeah, and look at the, the damage that they're taking. Like, Lunar Snow has to put all their attention onto Gaskin here. And meanwhile, like, where can your Punisher play? Where can your Hella stand? Because if they need to get healed too, then they can't. Otherwise, one of your frontline is going to die. And they're just infinitely more valuable to over, though. Might be able to heal them all up as the dance floor is online. Strange ultimate, though. Ready to go for both sides. Yeah, I know. So it could be a big stun here. But they're just starting dueling for this high ground. They are not ready to give this up our whole uh, Sinatra pulls the nuclear button here. Oh, everyone's lined up. But that doesn't mean that he overextends to try and make him out. Killed by a quick melee from Glaskin. That's okay. I, I will wonder, oh, I have Agamotto blocked at least by Gasklin. An attempt at their own. That's going to get both Sinatra and Hydron. Is the healing going to be there? There's no follow-up onto Sinatra, but Hydron gets taken down at least. Space just hunts them down. The Rocket Raccoon rolls on forward, and Super Gomez, even with the boost coming out from the Lunar Snowball of Karova, is unable to really pick up any kills here. And despite the huge investment and the opening, it doesn't seem like there's going to be much progress made yet. Maybe Hydration can be taken down here by Hazard, is going to be able to slip Hello. away for but a moment. Here we go. Looks like the healthy one there to use for. And my rotation to run for the hills as they're looking to get onto Ooh. the points themselves. Looks like they've got it. Super Gomez damage is big. Yeah, remix is low of a su for Super Gomez. Taken down. There is pressure on point. Hydron takes to the skies. Too many tanks in their face for now. You can see that it's a big block coming through from the Doctor Strange. Now moving in. It's going to be a copied Lunar ult coming through from Hydration. Thanks to the hero. I don't mind if I just use it for but a second. And Hydron's using this space and more to just get kill after kill. Sinatra is having a bit of fun now. Coming back on the Black Panther. Yeah, going to be uh, enjoying themselves a little bit. I've actually seen gameplay of this character for like five minutes, so I'm not entirely sure what it does, but you get a lot of dashes and you can do a lot of funny, flashy, fancy things. That's one. Oh, that's two. No way. Takes out Hazard in the back line, going after Super Gomez, misses for Slash. Now going up against the Shotgun. If you miss that dash, you are going to lose. And so it was, so it will be Hogs moving forward. Ultimate is available. Causal. 
copied for Hella and is too far back with this ultimate. It's not going to be able to influence that fight at all. And that means less healing is available. It's all Karova that's got to try and make this work. Space plays the off angle. Kaluj has been rezzed. Hog's still waiting for a chance to try and use this ultimate. Maybe on Kaluj. Plenty of people over there. That's going to be an eye of Agamotto. No way to block it for Hogs, but healing's going to be good coming through from Karova. Everybody survives for but a moment. As you tremble before Bass, Sinatra gets multiple hits onto marked enemies, but not enough resets. As he threads the needle on the dash. Now, this is going to be a cap here for the side of Nightmare Rotation. Yeah, admittedly, a little bit of uh, one of the DPS of Holton having too much fun leads to the cap here for Nightmare Rotation, but good ultimate, though. Overall, again, we are seeing the power of the Lunar Snow come in when the ultimate is allowed to actually be tasked right. Like, they're able to sustain with it massively if they don't have a wealth of ultimate. So, Sinatra's gone over now to the magic. The magic. A bit, Interesting. a bit more viable. Certainly the best of the available melee DPS right now. And very good at actually carving through tanks. This could be a new problem for Gasly. Oh yeah, my got, goodness. Got, got bored of playing Punisher, I guess. <laughs> Just, just too easy, some might say. Magic moves on in, carving through, caught in the group ultimate, unable to escape, but can at least try and slice through. Might get one on Gasklin here, and indeed he does. The Magic certainly able to find some value. It's a triple for Sinatra. Could it be a quad? No, Hydron takes that one away. Yeah, just being able to get the damage boost in and almost just effectively cleaning up all of the damage and all the support really coming through from the rest of their teammates and just able to get the final blows as the DPS in general hydration got their ultimate ready to go as does hydron so they've got a wealth of tricks to do in this fight wonder who hydration is going to copy so far it's been the lunar snow that ultimate so so powerful for them because they've got the sustain ready to go because they've got the rocket hydron went a little bit too far there got res sinatra's down as well but should be able to return a little bit faster what is space cooking over here still has two rocket dashes so i suppose it's fine and hydron's there to back it up Super Gobo just isn't presenting enough of a threat right now, even as the best player on his team when it comes to the KD. The ultimate is available, but it doesn't really have a two phase, a second phase of threat without a rocket. No, definitely not. And particularly when you go for that ultimate, everyone is going to look at you as the Punisher. And oh, then you've got big balls, you've got shields, etc. Big guy used trying to take Hydron out of the air right here. Can't afford to leave him there up there for long, but no, Hydron remains untouched, unclapped. Eye of Agamotto grabs two supports. The healing should be good coming through from a Loki. Good response coming through from Cortal. And that stops the designs of Kaluge for but a moment. Hydron still knows his Ice Blast going to be missing, and Hazard now has to try and find their opening. Sinatra's got the Dark Shard ready to go, and this could absolutely wreck a team that's as close knit as this double tank setup. No rotation is still, is still on the point, looking to go for something. Looks like Sinatra is going to just hilariously die in the 1v1. Yep. And just CDD. Instantly gets hit, however, comes on back with a vengeance onto Hazard. It's into overtime. You have to be on the car, and that means Ooh. that you've got to suffer the auspices of the Dark Child. Kaluch hit. Here comes the Dark Child. Sinatra going to try and clutch on the magic. Going up against the Ult of Luna Slow, though. That should be too much healing, if only for. They've actually managed to burst Gomez through the ultimate. It finally ran out breaking down all the loki shifts sinatra's out of the dark child now moving on in court all gonna be the next target surely instead turns upon the tank just to try and burn those who would touch the point has it has their own ultimate if it is going to be necessary and quarter was ran out of their own healing for but a moment up to the sky it's going to be Hazard. Can break down those totems from the Loki. Hydration needs to be peeled for here. Thanks to Kaluj, the shield should be good enough to make it work. Hydration's actually found back on the ground. Plenty of healing coming through from Cortal. Hazard should be healed up here. A huge kill on to Sinatra. Going to be unresable for but a moment. Look at the cleave that's being achieved by Karova here. That should be another heal coming on in. It's a good ultimate. Saves everyone who was CC'd. You've got to stay on the cart here. Hydration actually is killed out of their own ultimate. Around the back, Hydration. John's trying to get some flanking artillery, but it's too little, too late. A nightmare rotation, stay alive. They just get the map, but I'll hold them having a bit too much fun there in that final round. But um, oh, the map stays on, actually. Yeah, well, I got, I got it confused. My bad. GG. Um, Daflin, no, Daflin's ult, really big. Super Gomez looking to come with it. Again, it's got to be big from the Punisher with Sinatra, who's gotten a little bit too zesty there, dare we say it. We're just gonna have to dash away for now. Yeah, Kaluja will be broken out of this one. Super Gomez, he had another ult to play with. It's gonna be a massive power spike. Cortal has the opportunity to use their ult soon, potentially. Space is going to use their own Amplifier, desperately trying to live over here. It's going to be threatened by Hazard, but Hydron's got the peel. 
They desperately want to kill Space. He is the primary target. Is the only unresable member of the team. And this forward momentum is going to be enough to push off Nightmare Rotation. And we're just going to have to back out for now. But we're going to get another fight. 35 seconds left on the clock. They've got a wealth of ultimates. They're over. Hits the dance floor already to just try and stabilize them in the fight so that Super Joe makes them walk forward. Can he find anything with this Punisher? Ult? Has a Delft Thrasher at least. Oh, that's a big eye coming through from Kaluj. The follow up is there because they had Hydron on the flank. Sinatra stuck in place thanks to the Groot ultimate. There's still 10 seconds left. A copy coming through. It's going to be a second Groot ultimate. Sinatra still stuck in place, but still healed on through. The Dark Child is available for the last couple of seconds. The Eye of Agamotto popped in the spawn. They know that it's over and that's going to be a 3-0 win for Wholesome claiming third place in the Dawn of Legends. There we go. Don't think anyone was too surprised for this result to come well, through. Excellent performance for them on Shibuya and in the previous two maps. This one was a bit closer than they probably liked, but they were having a bit of fun at the end, weren't they? In particular, their DPS targets experimenting.